Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeff Mac NZ's channel and that would be me and I'm going to bring you my pickups from today. Not a lot of stuff, but uh got some pretty good items even though it's a small uh amount of uh stuff that I picked up today. Uh before I get that started because I'm going to have plenty of time here, just want to let everybody know that uh in stupid me, I wanted to get on Titanfall tonight. And I just realized that my subscription ran out, so I don't like doing anything online, so I'm going to have to go out and get a card. I don't want to do it now, but I don't know, man. I got somebody waiting for me to play, So, uh, and I have not played a lot of Titanfall. I've only played like four hours of it, and I had it since it came out, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I've been so busy. But anyway, when I get my subscription to Xbox uh, straightened out, that's the name right there. If you guys want to get on and play with me, uh, that's the name right there, LeBron Doom, spelled just like that. Um, but if you do so, please comment below in this video and uh, let me know what your gamer name is so I know to look out for it when you send me a friend's request, okay? And uh, we'll play. Uh, like I said, right now I'm playing Titanfall, I'm kind of into that. Uh, as far as older games, if you don't have that... Um, you know, I'm down to play anything. I have everything on Xbox 360 as far as uh, first-person shooters, whether it's Halo 4, Halo Reach, Call of Duty Ghost, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'll even go back and play Call of Duty Black Ops 1, uh, Modern Warfare 2, whatever it is, I'm down to play it. So leave a comment below, let me know what your gamer name is, and uh, we'll get on. Alright, so to the video... Today I'm kind of pissed off because I actually did one of my first uh, <clears throat> like three hour videos. Of course I had to pause a lot with my phone but it stretched from about 7.15 this morning when I left to about noon. That's how much recording time I had in uh, with pausing after I leave, leave a Goodwill and you know uh, editing and stuff like that. So um, and somehow I deleted everything. So I have no idea how to get it back. I've looked at my phone for an hour. I can't figure it out. So I basically lost the whole day. Uh, I went to five Goodwills today. I went to, I want to say set six or seven garage sales. And I went to about three resale shops. So I didn't get a lot. So it was a very dry day. I mean, it was hard finding anything. Uh, but I did find some decent stuff. Um, so I'm going to get straight to it. Um... The first game here I got from a Goodwill, and I didn't even know I didn't even know this game existed. I had no clue about it when I saw it. I just know the Ray, Rayman. I know that title, so I was interested in it, especially because it's GameCube. As soon as I saw it, uh, Rayman Three Hoodlum Havoc. I uh, got this game for four dollars and ninety nine cents. The box is not in the best condition. Uh, it is complete. And I think the CD was in good condition. Yeah, CD's in very good condition. Uh, so that's nice. Don't remember exactly, but this game's worth like $15.50 $15 so or around $15 on uh, price charting. So bought it for 5 It's worth triple that, so I'm happy about that. Uh, the next game, or I'm not going to go into the next games. I'll save those two for last. Those are from Half Price Books, the place that keeps bailing me out. The place that I never liked shopping before because they always screw you on price. Uh, I'm starting to get some good stuff there uh, for a reasonable price. Uh, so the one of the Goodwills that I went to today had a uh, Platinum uh, GameCube controller here. And I don't know if you guys remember when I picked up that Platinum GameCube right there. Now I'm starting to wonder... I think I have, yeah, it came with one, I'm sure, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think I only have one. So now I have two controllers for that Platinum uh, GameCube, so that was cool. Uh, this is going for, they sold it for $4.99, and it's worth about $15 also. So that was nice picking that up. Then... Uh, by the way, I hate garage sales. I don't think I'm ever going to do garage sales again. If I run into a garage sale, yes, but I'm not going to leave uh, on a Saturday at 7 in the morning and go to like 10 garage sales anymore because, I mean, it, I just I, I, I end up getting nothing every time I go out. Uh, so I think the third garage sale that I went to, I did pick up this, so I was very happy about this. 
I don't know if you guys remember when I picked up my second Xbox 360 right there. I got that for on the cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks. And but it had nothing uh, included with it. It was just the Xbox itself and the hard drive, which comes separately when you buy those new. Um, so I got a power brick for it. So that was really cool. Uh, as soon as I saw that, I jumped all over it. The guy asked for two bu two dollars for it. So I said, "What the hell?" Pulled some change out of the uh, change drawer in the car. Paid him the two bucks, and now I have that um, from that garage sale. Put that over the, there with that. From another garage sale, they had an Xbox 360 controller, so I thought I was good on this because I already have extra AV cables for it, but the backing was missing on it, uh, so I passed up on it. It was five bucks. All right, so uh, the last two games here. Um, this is my one of my last stops, Half Price Books. And I picked up Resident Evil Zero. And I already have this title, but I've been looking for the box. Um, I won't show you the discs. The discs are in mint condition. Uh, half price, especially the half price that I go to next to my house. They really do a good job. They don't take any crap from uh, customers. Any scratches, they don't take it. So, bam, got that. So this is what I had. And I got this from a resale shop. So, and it's got the two disc in there. So, huge upgrade. So, I was happy about that. Um, paid $9.99 for it. I think it's worth like $12. So, you know, I'm not going to complain. You don't see these out in the wild very much. Not that I would say Half Price Books is the wild. Half Price, Half Price Books is really not the wild. That would be Goodwills, thrift shops, flea markets, resale shops. Um, because they charge a little bit too much for stuff, but I haven't seen it at half price books. Let me just put it to you that way. Uh, so yeah, excited about that. And the one that I'm most excited about is this title right here. I've been looking for this for a long time and never seen it at half price books or in the wild. Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube. I also got that for nine dollars and thought it would be worth a little bit more. It's only worth like twelve, thirteen dollars, but uh, it's in very nice shape. And it's also complete. And I got time. I might as well show you the disc. If I can get them out of there. <clears throat> this is most definitely the preferred version of the game over all the other consoles. Uh, everybody says this is the best version. Uh, that's why I've always wanted it. I've never finished this game. I have two copies of it on PS2, and I think I put like 15 to 20 hours in it and stopped playing it as I normally do with games and got lost and didn't know what I was doing. This is what I have in my collection right now. I have two PS2 copies of it, and they're both uh, greatest hits versions, and one of them has the directions, and I think the other one's missing the directions. So again, <clears throat> another upgrade. Uh, my GameCube collection is really rounding up to be a, a, an excellent collection, uh, so I was glad to add this to it. Alright guys, uh, like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot.